you're driven by passion, you want to make a difference and fill with coaching knowledge that you just can't wait to share. But yet here you are, you're finding yourself standing at the starting line in this business journey and the path to a successful, profitable coaching business just seems so unreal. And so there's a lot of questions that you're probably asking, how do I stand out? How do I turn this passion into a sustainable, profitable business? And where do I even begin? There's a lot of coaches in my world where they find themselves trying to tweak a lot of the marketing tactics and strategies by following other business coaches who said that finding a niche is the place to start and you don't have to have a niche. We're in this huge confusion of exactly what is it I need to do first? And if these are the questions that resonate with you, you are not alone. Whether you are a newbie coach who just fresh got out of coaching certification program, or you've been out for a year to two years and you're struggling to try and get your message out. Today, we're going to talk about the step-by-step -step of how you have that clarity on exactly where to start how to begin your profitable coaching business from scratch in just seven steps. That's the game. I'm Michelle and I am a visibility marketing coach and I love helping female coaches to simplify their social media marketing so that they can get seen, get hurt and get paying clients so that you can turn this business into a profitable coaching business. Today, we're going to talk about the seven steps that you're going to need to take and start. This is your starting point. Think of it as you're building an empire and how do you build an empire? Will you lay down one brick at a time? And today you got seven brick to lay down and this is how you're going to build your coaching business. I have a lot of coaches in my community who constantly struggle with the idea of how do I get more paying client? Where do I begin? What is my niche? How do I get my message out? But the underlying big struggle is really you don't know what to take first. And there's a lot of different resources out there. You can Google, you can YouTube, you can watch a lot of different things. And you might have already tried some of the tactics to tr market your coaching business. For example, you might have tried a uh, hosting live workshop, or you might have tried going out there to farmer's market and having a uh, booth where people can come and get to know your business. And you might notice that a lot of these tactics are not effective or it just simply doesn't work. You're finding yourself going back to square one where you're still not sure exactly how to actually get paying client into your business. Step number one is if you have not already done so, consider getting yourself a certification in coaching. There's a recent report from International Coach Federation, which is an accreditation organization for coaches. And the latest number from ICF report shows that there's over 145,000 of active coaches around the globe. That's almost equivalent to the size of two football fields. So if you think about how you're standing out, the certification is not a necessity, but it does add credibility to your name. And it also assures that your client, that you are equipped with the skills to help them to overcome and achieve their goals. Nowadays, your clients are getting smarter and smarter because everyone is getting an information overload. So when they shop and when they work with the coach, they're probably going to looking into whether or not you have a badge certification attached to your name. So if you have not already done so, I would encourage you to consider getting yourself certified. And there's a lot of accreditation program that's out there that doesn't have to hurt your bank. So look around, check out the International Coach Federation website. They have a list of organization and accredited program that's out there that you can get yourself certified. I'm going to share the link down below so that you can go and check out the resources from International Coach Federation. 
Step number two is to find your passion market. Now, just to clarify that I am not talking about finding your niche. I'm talking about finding a market that you are passionate about helping, whether it's the women's community, whether it's the children's or the family community. This step is crucial because you don't want to position yourself into a general market where it, there's a lot of different ideas and problem that you're going to hear and it's going to slow you down from deciding what exactly you want to focus on. So finding your passion market means that you're identifying a portion out of the big general market and that you feel comfortable about showing up and you feel comfortable about talking every single day, whether it's career coaching, wellness coaching, or, or life transition coaching, this is going to allow you to find and identify your niche much easier later on in your journey. Step number three is to create your coaching package. Now that you got your certification and you identify which market that you're passionate in helping and focus on to identify your niche and find your ideal client, the next step is to actually have an offer to give them. So what is it that you're helping them to solve and what can they accomplish at the end of working with you? You need some clarity around the fact that what am I going to give to my client by the time they finish working with me? And it could be confidence. It could be having more happiness in their life. This would be important because most people don't sign up to the package itself. People signed up to the outcome that you're able to provide them. Now, step number four is to start offering these coaching package to get some one-on-one -on -one client experience. My advice is to start with one-on-one -on -one coaching, especially if this is your new venture and you have never worked with a client before. This hands-on approach will give you the ability to refine your coaching niche and it also going to allow you to gain some insight as to exactly what does your client need so that you can create a program or a membership or a course that you can help them to accomplish. The mistake that I see a lot of coaches make is they jump into offering membership and, and courses, thinking that it would be an easier way of getting more clients and reaching out to more people, but they're still struggling with finding the clarity of what is my niche, what can I provide, and what is the outcome or, or problem I'm helping my clients to solve. And when you don't have that much clarity to what is it exactly you're helping people to solve, then it becomes very challenging to have that clarity to your messaging. So my advice is that if you're new, maybe one to two years in your coaching business, I would strongly advise you to start with one-on-one -on -one coaching only. And then once you got a couple of clients coming in and you learn more about what your clients might be looking for and how you can make a deeper impact by creating a program or mastermind or membership, then you can start offering your membership and courses. Step number five is to define your target audience. After working with some one-on-one -on -one client, your step number five is about defining your target audience more specifically. This is where you get to a deeper understanding of who can benefit the most from your coaching offer and how you can tailor your message, your service to make your marketing effort a lot more effective and personal. And this is also the place where you start narrowing down your niche. Now, depending on how fast you travel, maybe you'll get to the step number five really quickly. And some of us will take out time to get to know our one-on-one -on -one coaching client before we start having this understanding of exactly who I love to work with and who I can make the most impact with. So don't rush and don't skip the first four steps before you jump into this fifth step. Step number six is to build your brand. Building your brand, it's more than just the logo and the website and all the pretty things that you see on social media. It is the essence of who you are as a coach and the transformation that you're going to offer. As you walk through step number one through five, you're going to come to a place of clarity and knowing exactly the transformation that you're going to provide your audience that you're able to provide and promise your coaching clients. At that time, your personal brand becomes your icon of of how you can build and show up to create that online presence to establish your authority. And this is a place where your business become 
at the stage of flourish. When you're first starting out, don't aim for perfection, aim for progress. Going through step number one and six is going to allow you to have the clarity to your brand and what you stand for and who are you about. And this is a place of growth so that you can continue to scale in your coaching business. Last but not least, final step number seven is to focus on market your coaching business with a scalable model. Things like using email marketing, creating lead magnet, and using value-driven content to drive all the traffic to your business is crucial. And this is a place where a lot of newbie coaches make that mistake of jumping into it first before they have the clarity of everything else. Because when your messages scatter and you don't have a personal brand and you have no idea of who you're writing these emails to, it puts you in a very negative mindset and feeling of, I have no idea of what to write and what to create because you have simply skipped the first six steps that are crucial to build and lay the foundation in your coaching business. So step number seven is to market your coaching business, but you got to start with some foundational things like what would my package look like? And who's my target audience? How do I want to approach them? What is it that they're struggling with? And so step number seven is where most coaches also struggle because they have no idea of how to communicate and articulate to their potential client so they can establish their authority and getting people interested to sign up to their workshops or to their program. The good news is I put together a mastermind that walk you through the seven step one step at a time so that you have the content to create, you know exactly how to articulate your message to your audience so you can get seen, get her, and get that paying clients. I'm going to share a link down below to my Profitable Coach Formula. I only offer this a couple of times in the year. So if you wanted to jump in, you can jump in and you're also going to get some resources before I start enrollment again. I'm also going to share a resource on how to find your niche that you can get clarity for the first six steps before you jump into the last step of marketing your business. And there you have it. These are the seven steps of how to start a profitable coaching business from scratch. Remember, every coach starts somewhere and with these seven steps, you're well on your way to become the coach and that you always dream about. And if you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and share this with your fellow coach. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Until next time, keep coaching. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.